All right, for this video, we're gonna learn how to make a simple autonomous. Now, the autonomous is definitely one of the most um, program-heavy or program-reliant um, things you make in VEX um, because the user control, once you get it set up, doesn't really need much tweaking. Um, but the autonomous, especially if you want a good one, uh, can take many hours to get very, or at least somewhat perfected um, code. So um, I'm going to show you how to uh, make an autonomous, um, some things to keep in mind, and um, yeah, I'll, do, I'll make a sample one right here. Um, autonomous is definitely one of the things that will vary a lot from team to team, um, and can get quite complicated if you're doing something like skills, where the challenge is a minute instead of just 15 seconds. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to break it down, demystify it a little bit, and um, uh, make it easy as possible for you to get started. So, to start with an autonomous, make sure that you're in the void autonomous void. Um, just like with the user control, uh, all your commands for um, autonomous have to be inside of this block here, otherwise they will not run. Um, and that's very important. Um, so we can just take this out here. And a uh, thing that a lot of teams will try to do is that um, they'll take the commands that we made in the driver control, like say this one right here, and they'll just say, okay, we're going to do this, and then we're going to do it for um, one second. So they'll take this command right here, which is the wait seconds command, and then they'll do this. We'll change the seconds, and then do one. And then we'll do the same thing, but have the motor... Go down. So this is the most simple way to do an autonomous. It builds off the stuff you do in user control, and um, definitely makes the most sense. But it's not very accurate. Um, things like um, the weight of, say, a ball that you're picking up, or um, how hot the motors are, or just how long you've been running the program. Uh, can give the motor some wide deviation when you're using timing. Um, so it's not really recommended. Um, so instead of this, what I would rather um, you use is uh, a little different of a command. Uh, this one uses the, the motor's built-in um, rotation sensor, or, uh, yeah, the rotation sensor. So how you would use this is you do rmotor.rotate2. And then you would do how far you want to rotate to. We'll say 100. And then we're going to do 100 degrees. So this is going to rotate the arm motor um, to 100 degrees rotation. So when you start up the program, the uh, motor encoder is going to start at 0. And then it's going to rotate um, if you're, if the arm motor is normal, um, it'll rotate counterclockwise to go forwards, um, and, uh, clockwise to go reverse. Um, so we can, if we want to specify the power, all we got to do is, um, at the end here, add 
the power we want it at. So let's say 100, and then the um, unit where you want it. So we'll do rotations per minute. Um, usually in the autonomous, you want to do rotations per minute because it's more accurate than, say, uh, using percentage. Because if your motor gets hot, um, it might scale down that uh, percentage. Uh, whereas for RPM, it will not do that. Um, so we can do that as well. Um, make sure that this arm motor is um, a, a torque motor, so it will only go up to 100 rotations per minute. So this is, uh, as I said, much more accurate. And then you don't have to worry about like adding braking or anything. It will brake on its own, uh, or and you don't have to worry about timing it either. So you want it to move another 100 degrees, it will do that after it's rotated 100. Um, uh, however, if you want to drive forward, for example, if you do this, if you change this to left drive, and then copy this, and then change this to right drive, um, this will what this will do is it'll rotate the left drive, uh, motor left drive, 100 degrees first. Then it'll do motor right drive 100 degrees. And you don't want that. You want the, both of these motors to drive forward at the same time. So how you can have that happen is change this to start, rotate two. And what this will do is it'll start rotating uh, the left drive motor to 100 degrees. Um, but it won't wait for that to happen. It will go right on to the next command. And then this will uh, tell right drive to move forward, and um, it will move forward for 100 degrees. So that's good. But um, 100 degrees is not a very long distance. Um, because uh, when we're talking about degrees, we're talking about degrees of rotation. So each revolution is uh, 360 degrees. Um, so say if you wanted to go across the entire field, um, or if you wanted to uh, use, say, like a calculator to determine, like, uh, the distance in centimeters or something um, to like revolutions of the wheel. You can also just use uh, rev, which is revolutions. So that 100 revolutions is a lot. So I turn this down to maybe like five, and this will. This is basically the equivalent of going. 360 degrees um, five times. Uh, although I'd recommend just sticking to degrees because that's you're not gonna uh, go extremely far most of the time, and degrees gives you a more granular control of how far you want to go, which again helps make the code more accurate. Accuracy is really the name of the game when it comes to autonomous. Um, so you really want to focus on getting your um, your robot as accurate as possible, even if it does sacrifice speed um, or stuff like that. So another thing you might uh, run into is say you're doing this, right? So it, uh, it uh, rotates the drive train um, 100 degrees forward. And then we'll have it uh, stop for a second. So, do one and sec. So, and then you want it to rotate a uh, hundred, or let's see, let's say two hundred degrees, or no, 
well, you, know, you want it to rotate 100 degrees more. Um, but when you run this code, what will happen is it'll rotate 100 degrees forward, it'll wait a second, and then it'll stop the autonomous. And you'll be like, well, why did it do that? Is because um, this is taking the absolute value of the um, motor rotation. So it's not like saying when you add 100 degrees, uh, or when you do 100 degrees again, it's going to add 100 degrees. Um, it's just going to rotate to that absolute uh, degree value of 100. So if I were to put this at 50, it would go back 50 degrees um, because it was just at 100. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to go reverse to reach 50 degrees instead of going forward 50 degrees when you would add it. So um, to get rid of confusion, where you basically, if you want to go like 100 degrees more, you'd have to make this like 200. Um, to avoid confusing yourself with that, um, you can just reset the rotation of the motors. So to do that, we would do left drive dot reset rotation. You can do that for right drive as well. So now, um, what this will do is it'll rotate forward 100 degrees. It'll wait one second, then it'll reset the rotation, and then rotate 100 more degrees forward. And then if you want to rotate backwards, uh, all you got to do is make this negative, and it'll go backwards. So that's that. Um, so this is really the basics of all you're going to do in autonomous. It's just a bunch of these commands where you're going to drive forward, move the arm up, move the, move the claw open, move it, move it closed, um, move it forward and back. Um, so if you can imagine, like, if we paste this a couple times, this code becomes super unreadable because you don't know what is happening. So in the autonomous especially, even more than the uh, driver control, you really want to comment and say this is like moving forward 100 degrees. And then this one right here is um, moving backward 100 degrees. Um, so that way you know like what part, if you're testing the autonomous, you know what part of the autonomous is, um, or what part of the autonomous is doing what, and then you can uh, have an easier time troubleshooting um, when you need to adjust values. Um, uh, so you don't have to search for like 15 minutes to find out uh, what exactly you need to change. Um, so yeah, you, uh, for your autonomous, you obviously have to do um, different commands uh, for suit the challenge and everything. Um, but this is really um, the basics of what you need to know for making autonomous. So, like I said in my driver control video, um, if you need help with this, you can just ask one of the uh, people in our team who knows how to code, or ask Aldana. Um, and we also have a Discord server that uh, you guys can join and ask for help there as well. I'll link them below. Um, and also, um, Make sure not to forget about the examples because um, there's stuff in here. I don't know if there's specific uh, autonomous stuff in here, um, but these will definitely have 
uh, helpful stuff in here as well. Good luck.